Welcome back to Skill Guided, the series where our account progress is locked to the skill guide. We cannot train a skill until we complete the most recent skilling unlock. We cannot complete a quest if it would skip that unlock. And we are back and better than ever. In the last episode, we finally finished the Ardoin Easy Diary, which was our first major goal of the account. We also completed the Falador Easy Diary, but we set out to complete the unlocks that we had to skip in order to get our Ardi Diary completed. In the process of training Slayer, we hit 20 ranged, meaning we need to use Mithril throwing knives in order to continue training the skill. This means we've gone on a huge mining and smithing grind so we can make them ourselves, which you'll see in today's episode. So, smithing, it's pretty smooth sailing towards uh, 57. We've got a couple of steel unlocks left. Then we have, you know, the Mithril unlocks as we go through and we'll get to level 57. The only thing that sucks is the Lovakite bar at 45 smithing. Uh, and let's unlock that now, because we have our steel two-handed swords to make it level 44. So let's go ahead and smith those, not kite shield. Two-handed sword. Beautiful, and there's level 45 smithing. Members can now smelt Lovakite ore. Now, yes, that sucks, because Lovakite needs 65 mining to mine, and that is just dog shit. So, we basically have to put smithing on hold now and go and mine, ready for this, 4,000 coal and 2,000 iron ore. That will get us to 65 mining. From there, though, I'm thinking that because we've actually finished the Sleeping Giants quest, we can go do Giant's Foundry using like iron and steel plate bodies. Yeah, thanks to my conversations with Bubba Smurf here. They've absolutely saved me in terms of talking about doing Giant's Foundry. Uh, they, were drawing a they were grinding at the Colossal Blade. Uh, and we've done the quest and you basically sustainably do Giant's Foundry. Shout out to you Bubba Smurf, you're an absolute legend. And we literally have one coal in the bank to start with. So yeah, I'll see you in a while. Okay, feels like a long time since we've made a clip. I've been smashing the leagues. It's been so fun. But I've been doing some mining here on the side because we are on the grind for our mithril knives to continue our ranged grind. We are now 59 mining and we have gotten 2k iron ore. So now all we need is 3,999 more coal to make 4k. And we've got our 2k steel bars that we need to get our smithing up. And so we're well on the way with that. At least with the coal, I'm going to go mine it. I've been playing so much leagues, I'm like, wait, I don't even have access to Zaya. But no, we, we do, obviously. Um, we are going to go mine coal up here, right near the Lovakite mine, because there is a... Obviously Lovakite, but there's a lot of coal here and a bank right there. So I'm going to go mine there. I think that's the best place I can do it. I know I can go to Motherload Mine for coal as well, but I mean, no, nah, I, I just want coal. I don't want to waste time getting uh, gold and all this other stuff as well. So yeah, we're just going to go for that. We've also got a little surprise that I've been gathering. So we had some clue geodes from doing our mining and we have two beginner caskets and an easy casket. So can we get something cool from this? Let's see what we can get. Oh, God, that's crap. <laughs> that's horrendous. Surely we've got a wizard hat already. Yeah, we do. We've already got a black wizard hat. Oh, that sucks. All right, well, yep, sardines are useless as well. Can we get a beginner clue unique? Come on. Oh, God. I mean, at least we have wizard robes so when we go to train our magic, that like that's that's like the only upside there that I can see. But we can wear those until we need our Zerikian robes, so you know that's 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 better than nothing. That's better than nothing. We've got a blue wizard robe top, that's decent, and a leather cowl, that's crap. Can we get a unique at least? Come on. Oh, oh shit! I was like, what? What's the unique? Oh, it's the black pickaxe. It's the black pickaxe, no way! 
Oh, yes! All right, I'm just, I'm sprinting straight up to use this. Oh, yes! Do you remember back in the early parts of the series where I was like, no, we're trapped, we can't progress our mining because we needed to get to level 11 and that's a black pickaxe. Now we have the black pickaxe. It only took until 59 mining to actually get it. Oh, that's so good. Here, let's mine our solitary coal rock here. Start our coal journey with our new black pickaxe. Yes, tick that unlock off. Feels like an absolute age since I've made a clip. Holy shit. Been too busy on leagues, but I have been doing a little bit of this. Mining. 60 mining. There we go. You can now enter the world famous mining guild. <laughs> That's got to be one of the best. That's got to be one of the best skill guide things I've ever seen. You can now enter the world famous mining guild. We can now also mine day alt essence and size 6 stars. So we'll be on the lookout for a size 6 star. But we're going to keep mining coal as well. Fun times. Let's do a little progress update on the iron and coal. There we are, 2,000 iron. We need 4,000 coal. We're just over 10% of the way there. Oh, God, it's going to take a while, but it will get done. I'm, whenever I'm not doing something super crazy on leagues, I am mining coal. All right, here we are. Is this the world-famous mining guild? Are we entering it? I think we're in it. I think this is it. I don't think I've come here much on the main. Okay, so there's a bank in there. Can we go into that bit as well? Yes. Nice. Okay, there's got to be a great place to mine coal here that near the bank. Ah, oh, there's coal everywhere. Yes, how good is this? Okay. There's a nice little spot for iron, but we can't use that. Oh, this is so good. Oh, look at this. This is going to be my home for a long time. Muchos AFK. Holy crap. Oh, finally. Oh my god. All right. I was like, oh, I feel like I can get some before the inventory, but there we go. They're not fragments. They are unidentified minerals. They are the thing that we trade in to... Hmm, I don't know. Maybe this store up here. Let's just go have a look. Or maybe this person. Bologna. Yes. 60 minerals. And 120 minerals. Oh my god. So we're actually going to need to buy both for our unlock, technically. So yeah, we're going to need a lot of minerals. Damn it, Marie. They're minerals. Okay, well, I've been, yeah, a little bit busy mining. Uh, this is what I've been doing while playing Leagues on the main. I'm sure everyone's sick of hearing about Leagues by now. I'm sorry. Big level. Big level, 61 mining, and a message that I wanted to see much later, but with our recent roadblocks of combat, unfortunately we're going to have to wait to get the dragon pickaxe. We are not able to go grind out Chaos Elemental at these stats. Um, we're not going to be able to get the dragon pickaxe just yet. Unfortunately, we're going to have to power through it. I'm sorry. We will come back to the dragon pickaxe when available, but we're going to keep mining with the rune one. To say sorry, I have two beginner caskets that I got through some geodes while mining to 61. So consider this my apology, and hopefully we get some good rewards, and this will make up for the fact that we're not going to go get the dragon pickaxe right now. Come on, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That's not good. Give me a unique. Come on. Oh, my God. God, that has to be one of the shittest fucking clues I've ever seen in my life. Alright, let's see if these are better. Another two beginner caskets. An easy casket. I'm basically like mining on my phone whenever I can. And then doing the clue scrolls and saving them all up for when I get on my setup. So here we go. Let's see if we can get something better this time around. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I mean, law runes are fine, but whatever. Oh, my God, beginner clues are so crap. Shit. All right, easy casket. Last time, it feels like an age ago, but we got the black pickaxe. 
And look, I can't even remember if I mined it. So I'm dropping the rune pickaxe for a second. And we're mining some coal with our black pickaxe. I'm sure I did this last time. I can't even remember. But I'm doing it again because it feels so good. Nice. All right. Give me our rune pickaxe back. So still a while to go until we get 4,000. But can we get something cool from our easy casket? Can we get the black axe this time and do our wood cutting unlock? Ooh, blue skirt G. <laughs> nice. <laughs> black battle axe as well. Hey. Now look at us. Yes, we look sick. We look so sick. Oh, that's actually perfect. That matches our new wizard top perfectly. Blue skirt G. Mate, I love when things like this happen. It just matches. It's just perfect. Oh, how good. Okay. Oh, a lot of AFK mining still occurring. We're getting up there with the coal stack. Oh, almost 3,000 coal now. But we've got one more beginner casket, so let's see what we get. Oh my god, these things are just terrible. <laughs> ah, well, back to mining. There we go, 64 mining. Oh, many levels on this grind. We can now mine tainted essence chunks in the Abyssal Scar. Oh yeah, I'll just pop over to the Abyssal Scar. Hey, yeah. Yeah, I've unlocked Desert Treasure too. Hmm, idiot. No, let's just keep mining our coal. I've just realised as well that I've got 60 minerals. 61 minerals. So what I should have done was go to Bologna here and say, Hey, I need your mining gloves. Let's take them. Nice. Mining gloves achieved. Let's see how they look. Oh, look at that. Little bit of yellow. Love that. Uh, this is actually a unlock from level 20. So you tell me how you're meant to get these at level 20 mining when you can't get into this area until you have level 60 mining. And it took me until 64 mining or thereabouts to get enough minerals to buy them. So you tell me that, Jagex. Same with superior mining gloves which are even more, and now we're going to have to save up our minerals again. But yeah, there we go, they're achieved. Now what do these even do? Uh, mining gloves. When mining certain rocks, there is a chance the rock will not be depleted, and the player will continue mining until it depletes. Ooh! 40% chance of non-depletion? That's actually cracked! Ali the Kebab Seller. Mate, I know your answer. 399. Give me the casket. Yes! We got a medium casket! Have we done a medium on this account? I don't think we have. Collection logs, clues, mediums. Zero! This is our first medium casket! Holy shit. Well, you know what? Story time. Um, one of my best mates on Old School RuneScape. First ever medium clue, he got ranger boots. He didn't even know what they were. And the chat box came up and he was like, oh my god, what is this price? This is insane. This is when full rune was like 200k and he was, you know, poor as. And he's bank 10 times in value. Can we do the same for us right now? If this is Ranger Boots, I'm going to go fucking ballistic. I'm building this up and it's going to be absolutely nothing. But let's just see what we get. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, some green colours, but maybe not um, ranger boots. But hey, we can't wield it, but we've now got an Addy plate body for when we get 30 defence, and an Addy plate skirt trim for when we have 30 defence. That's pretty nice. And a Bandos page 3. I don't mind it. Could have been better, but could have been a lot, a lot worse. So, yay. Good for us. Okay, one more beginner casket. Can we get something good from this one? No, we cannot. <laughs> uh, I should just stop trying. It's been pretty clear so far that we've been mining a lot of coal. There's a reason the fossil fuels are running out, and that's because of me, baby. 4,000 coal, 2,000 iron ore. That looks so good. Oh, yes. Okay, our mining goal is done. Just shy of 65 mining as well, which is good. But before we do that, we've got another three beginner caskets. The end of all our clue geodes for now. I'm sure we'll get more in the future. 
But yeah, no more mining means no more clue geodes. So let's see if we can snag a beginner clue unique before we go and smelt. Oh yeah, sandwich lady bottom, nice. Not good enough to replace our blue skirt G, but I will take it. Another collection log item obtained. Ah uh, yes, this is this is what we're normally looking like. Staff of Earth, that's crap. Last one. Oh my god, and that's even worse. Earth runes, but hey, sandwich lady bottom, nice. Okay, probably one of the last times I'll mention leagues, but. Oh my god. Seeing something give 17 and like 17 and a half XP is fucking depressing. <laughs> this is going to take a while. The XP is going to be trash, but it's going to be okay. We can just deposit. We watch our stack of steel grow. I'm going to put it up here. Right there, right under our coal. And we just withdraw back to the furnace. Well, yep, this is my life for the next many, many bars. 46 smithing. So we now have the ability to make steel plate legs and steel plate skirts. So I guess let's go do that quickly. Okay, now we're at an anvil that we can actually use. Let's make one steel plate legs. Lovely. And one steel plate skirt. Beautiful. All right. Back to the furnace. <laughs> this is grim. And there's 65 mining. We can now mine Lovakite. Nice. And that's exactly what we're about to do. Nice. And that's a hard task in the Karen and Kebos area as well. How bloody good is that? All right. Here we go. Let's smith on the anvil to make one... Shazian Supply Gloves. 10 XP. That is so bad. And Boots. 10 XP. Absolutely horrendous. Phenomenal. Like, we got... I think we got this wizard robe from, like, a clue as well. Like, maybe a beginner clue. And I was like, ah, uh, kind of throws off our outfit. Like, I guess... Because we, we're normally used to wearing, like, pink and, pink and blue. I got the blue wizard robe and was like, nah, now we're blue and blue. And we pull a blue skirt G. Unbelievable. The fit is looking fantastic. Um, we've also got our mining gloves that we unlocked from all of our coal. We're just getting all the spoilers now. This clip will be in the video, Emotional Moments. <laughs> yeah, that is that is true. Emotional Moments indeed. Let's um, avoid the Dark Wizards and not lose the hardcore on the stream. Let's go make a steel plate body. Still wearing our beautiful arty cloak as well from our last episode. Hopefully this recording goes okay, because I have never recorded a clip, I don't think, from while I've been streaming. That would be right. Alright, Smith the Anvil. Now unlock. Steel plate body. Beautiful. We can even put it on. Self-made man. Let's chuck that in the bank and go back to smelting. Okay, lots of smelting done on stream today. So good. Really appreciated those that showed up for it. And there's 49 smithing. Very, very nice. We can now make bullseye lantern frames and Shazian supply helms. Well, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I have literally just come over to buy a couple of soul runes because I wanted to charge my caressed memoirs. And I didn't realise, because I never normally play with it on, that I had menu entry swapper on from playing leagues. And so I had buy 50 set as my left click option. These things, I'm guessing, are quite expensive. 500 GP. So I literally just spent my whole skill guided cash stack on 34 fucking soul runes. <laughs> All right, here we are. We are making ourselves a bullseye lantern frame. There we go. Beautiful. That is our level 49 smithing unlock. Well, one of them. All right, and here we are. We're just going to make one to save our bars. A Shazian helm. I should zoom in. There we go. Shazian supply helm one. All right, so the plan. We're here at the anvil. We have smelted almost 2,000 steel bars. And we are here 
to smith them into plate bodies. This is actually going to be rapid training, which is nice. We're going to get through our bar stack really quickly. We're going to go plate bodies. And also, we are going to go over to Horvik in his plate body shop and buy iron plate bodies. And then we are going to go to Giant's Foundry after that and do a alloy of iron and steel. That will give us great XP, good money in return. And eventually, we'll get to the level 57 smithing that we need for our mithril knives. Now, obviously, as we go up in smithing level, we will progress through our unlocks as well. So for our Lovakite, when we hit 51, we'll do Shazian Supply Greaves, Body, Gloves, etc, etc. These are actually getting removed when Valamore is released. Um, I think you just make regular Shazian armor at that point, and you no longer need to trade these in for XP or something like that, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I'll probably talk about that in the future anyway, because we'll see lots of changes with a few things uh, when we when we see Valamore released and they get rid of the favor system. But it'll be handy for us, even if they're still on the skill guide, I'm sure they will be, because we'll be able to get more XP when we smelt the bars and mine the Lovakite, so that's good. We'll also be going through some Mithril unlocks once we hit level 50, Mithril daggers. So we've got some Mithril ore in the bank from doing Motherload Mine. We'll have to mine a little bit more coal, and we'll smelt some bars and make sure we tick off each of these unlocks. The only one we won't be able to do, I think, right now, is the Dart Tips, because we haven't done Tourist Trap as well as the Mithril Spears and Mithril Hasta because of the whole Tybo and Wano Trio Barbarian Smithing debacle, which also includes getting chewed bones from a Mithril Dragon, so that ain't gonna happen. Um, and then the rest of it I think should be fine until we get up to our Mithril Throwing Knives, at which point we can continue our range training. Uh, I might not make all of these steel bars into plate bodies, actually. I probably will make a few steel knives because we need something to train our ranged with. Um, we'll have to make sure we at least throw a mithril knife and use that unlock in order to progress our range further. But from there, we can basically train however we'd like. As sort of this series has progressed, this is sort of the way that we've come to be able to play the account because just training on like mithril knives uh, and things like that, impossible in the future. It'll be the same thing when it comes to, obviously, those methods that I've Discussed a million times in, uh, in terms of smithing, uh, dragonfire shields, etc, etc. So, mithril knives we need to train ranged. Steel knives, we're going to make some now. I'll make, I won't make too many, maybe a, a thousand or something. And uh, that'll be more than enough, I think, for a bit of range training early on. Oh, wasn't even paying attention. 50 smithing. We can now smelt mithril ore and make mithril daggers. How bloody good is that? Alrighty, here we go, our first of our level 50 unlocks, smelting mithril bars. Woo! There we go, 30 XP per smelt. Absolutely massive. We've made it back to Varrock. One mithril bar will save the others for our future unlocks. Mithril dagger, please. Beautiful, there we go. Mithril dagger made by ourselves and wielded by ourselves. Not that that's part of it, but oh, look at it, isn't it cute? And so now I think we're going to swap over to the steel plate bodies. And now this is going to be much faster. Big XP per body. How bloody good is that? 51 smithing now. We can now make Mithril Axes and Shazian Supply Greaves 1. We first have our Mithril Axe we can make with our new unlock. How good is that? There we go. We can also use our Lovakite Bars to make our Greaves with 3 bars. That's pretty cool. Let's make one of them. Nice, 30 XP. And there's 52 smithing. We can now make mithril maces. Oh, these are rapid XP. These are so good. All right, got interrupted by Leo, but hey, two more collection logs there. Zombie boot, zombie shirt, love that. Smithing more plate bodies at the anvil for now, but this will get interrupted as well. This has been rapid XP. I bloody love this. Now we've hit 53 smithing. Mithril Medium Helmets, Mithril Crossbow Bolts, Shazium Supply Bodies 1, and Smoker... Oh my god. More forestry complaining by me. Smoker Canister. 53 Woodcutting and 37 Herb Lore. Well, guess what, champ? I can't do 37 Herb Lore, because right now I'm stuck on the 8 Herb Lore Unlock. We're at 10 because uh, we just ha 
we're allowed to do that. We haven't hit the 11 unlock yet for Taramin. But we need Relisim's Balm from partial completion of Zoga Flesh Eaters. That requires Big Chomby Bird Hunting, which requires 30 ranged. So, yeah, because we're doing this smithing grind for the ranged grind, we can't do the smoker canisters. So shove that forestry right up ya. We don't care about you at all. Let's have a look. All right, one Mithril Medium Helmet coming up. That's one Myth Medium Helmet done. Nice. Now we have bolts as well. Mithril bolts, how bloody good is that? We can't even wield our Mithril Med Helm. That sucks. All right, Lovakite bar. The plate body does only need four bars. That is bloody awesome. Nice. Cool. That looks terrible. <laughs> I don't think we can wear it, can we? No, this isn't for you to wear. When they do the update, that will just become regular Shazian armor, but whatever. We can now make, actually. Um, now that we have a full set, does this mean we can, like, make... I'm guessing we can't do it there. We probably have to go to the GE, maybe? And we've got another level coming in. We have got... You probably guessed it. What comes after 53, but 54 smithing. We can now make mithril short swords, mithril dart tips. Well, we can't exactly do that. And mithril nails. So we go first with our mithril nails. And secondly, with our mithril sword. Now, I've had one of these before, so I think we'll keep wearing our nice spiky mace. And just like that, this is this has been genuinely rapid. This is such a nice change of pace compared to normal on this account, making these uh, plate bodies. It's gone so fast. There's 55 smithing. We can now make mithril simis, mithril arrowheads. Uh, we cannot make the mithril spears or the mithril hasta. And Shazian supply gloves too, we can indeed make. But we've got our myth scimitar here. Excellent. And then we have uh, arrow tips are our next unlock as well. Beautiful. That's our 55 smithing unlock for Mithril. We also have a Shazian Supply Gloves number two for our Lovakite unlock. Excellent. And we'll cap it all off with a stale baguette. Oh, another steel plate body. <laughs> well, I mean, if we're not going to get something like crazy, we may as well get something we've been actually using. So nice one. Okay, and that is a huge amount of smithing completed. 322 steel plate bodies ready to go to Giant's Foundry. Oh, that's exciting. I'm keen. Before we go, though, we have medium clue scroll that we got from our last little bit of mining. And so it's time to complete a medium clue. Yeah, okay, I don't think this is doable. Amulet of Powers only come from stuff like KBD, Crazy Archaeologist... We can get them from a Magpie Impling. Um, 24 Hunter we have now. Magpie Implings require 65. Driftnet Fishing on Fossil Island, 44. That's locked away from us because we haven't been able to get to Fossil Island yet. So we're still trying to unlock a bunch of birdhouse things and stuff like that for Hunter. So it's not right to go and just keep going and skip more with Hunter. Because the whole purpose of this, getting our ranged up and going back and doing certain things, what we're trying to do really is catch up on the unlocks that we've skipped. So, by then skipping more unlocks on a tangent of a medium clue, uh, it's not really worth it. Here we are for some Giant's Foundry. This is where we'll be for a little while. I'm going to just use some steel plate bodies, get a little bit of cash, and then go buy the iron plate bodies so we can do an alloy of iron and steel. But I think five is what we need. I think if we add all of them, that'll be a full crucible. Five steel plate body. Oh no, because they're worth four each. So we actually need, what, seven? Is that right? I think it's seven, yeah. Partially full crucible. Let's go, yep. Add all. Beautiful. Okay, that's a full crucible. Um, I don't know if I've set them. No, the mold jig's empty. So we need to get a commission from Kovac. Light flat sword. Okay, champion. Um, so basically he gives you a commission, he said make a light flat sword, you have a fort, a blade, and a tip of your sword, and you basically want to choose the mould so it maximises the um, requirements he's given you. So our commission is light and flat, so let's go I guess at this point, because that's, that's flat. Blade, well we have this blade which is both light and flat, so that's good. I don't know whether it's actually worth like 
matching, like, because that sword to me makes no sense, but I don't really care. And we have a light and flat fort as well. Nice. All right, let's set that mold. Cool. So we've set that mold there. We then pour the crucible in, and we don't have ice gloves, so we cool it down with a bucket of water. And then we can pick up the sword and start to make it. Pick up mold jig. Here we go. All right, so now the this is the temperature gauge, and this is the activity that we need to do on the sword. So right now, temperature is in the red. So we go to the hammer, and each time it hammers, the bottom bar will move up, indicating that we're that far much further through this part of the process the temperature goes down each time you hit it on the trip hammer and if you need to change the temperature of the blade you can dunk it in lava or cool it in the waterfall and so now our blades too cool so I'm just gonna dunk it in the lava quickly take it back to the trip hammer and that top bar is essentially the quality of your sword so one more hit on the hammer yep okay now we need it to be in the green part of the temperature where we are going to polish it. And I think it cools it down when we do that. So let's just get it to uh, here temperature wise. Yep, and let's start to cool the blade again and polish it. Yes, so now the temperature is going down and we are getting through the polishing process. We'll probably have to heat it up again to raise the temperature. We do gain a small amount of smithing XP by doing this, very small as you can see. But you get a big chunk of smithing XP when you actually hand the sword in at the end. So we'll come over here and we'll dunk our blade into the lava. And we'll come back and polish it some more. Alright, now we are into the phase where we need to grind it. But we again need it to be a bit hotter. This process actually heats the blade up. So we're going to start at the bottom of the yellow bar here. There we go. Come over and use the grindstone. Ah... See, as we run across, it naturally cools down a little bit, so almost screwed up the blade there. That's all good. We get over there quickly. Yep, cool. Now we are grinding our sword on the grindstone. It's heating it up this time instead of cooling it down as we perform this. So we'll have to go and cool it down at the waterfall in a second. Just explaining this in case you haven't seen Giant's Foundry before. I'm sure most people who watch have, but you never know. Uh, we did the Sleeping Giants quest not too long ago in order to unlock uh, this minigame. It's a pretty easy minigame. I do recommend if you haven't done it already. We got a good chunk of smithing XP from it. From the quest, that is. And we should get good chunks of XP from doing this as well. Okay, we are now finished the grinding and we're going to cool it down yet again. Perfect. All right, we're now in the green and we are doing one more polishing phase to finish off our sword, which will hand in the Kovac and get some money and get some XP. And I'm really keen to see exactly how much we get. So I'll have to come and heat it up one more time. Doing it with a... F We've got another adventurer doing this with us. Excellent name by, by them. <laughs> All right. This should be our final steps here. We haven't compromised the sword. Uh, we should be able to get hopefully quality at least 70 or so for these swords that is just pure steel so we can't get much higher than that beautiful successfully finished the sword let's hand in that commission sword look good hand over boom 4.7 kxp that's great quality 66 five minutes 9500 gp now that is awesome now we have to make a heavy flat sword and we have some iron plate bodies. I spent all of my cash stack. I literally have 12 GP left. So now we're doing an alloy of steel and iron. I'm not sure exactly of the ratio. I tried to use the calculator on the wiki, and I think this is going to be pretty good. So we've set the mold. Oh, I'm an idiot. Might help if I pour the crucible. Kovac, you better enjoy this sword, champion. Sword quality 83, that's even better than I thought we'd get. 6,570 smithing XP and 13k. Oh, we've already made back all the money we made. We've already made back all the GP that we spent getting the iron plate bodies. This is actually so good. We'll get another commission, broad spiked here, yeah, good on you. But 56 smithing, yes. Time to head to an anvil. I'm sure there's one outside, hopefully. Mithril long swords. Mithril crossbow limbs and mithril javelin heads. Woohoo! 
One level away from our goal. Oh, I'm so happy. Mithril Longsword. Lovely. 100 XP. We have Mithril Limbs. And we have Mithril Javelin Heads. Oh, God, that's satisfying. I bloody love this account. Dead set. It's so good. It's just like, ooh, new things to make. And this will be the last sword we hand in. I am so keen. The smithing grind has been taking a long time. It, I, lately, it's gone a lot quicker because of the whole steel plate bodies. But in reality, I've been mining coal on and off since like mid-November. Um, I've just, yeah, it's just been a busy, bloody time. And haven't been able to consistently play the account. So mining whenever I can, smelting whenever I can. And it's, uh, it feels good that we're about to hand in this sword and get 57 smithing. It does feel bloody good. Oh, I'm excited for this. Hand in the Kovac. Not sure what the quality is going to be. Should be alright. 77, not too bad. But 5,900 XP. Love that. Sure, we'll receive enough of the commission. But we'll use that later. 57 smithing. Wow. We can now make mithril full helms. Shazian supply boots too, but most importantly, mithril throwing knives. Finally, we can train our ranged again and go back to what we were doing at the start of the episode, which was killing the slayer creatures that we've skipped. So we were killing crawling hands. With our mithril knives, we'll go kill some cave bugs. We'll kill some cave crawlers, and then we are free to move on. All right, baby. I feel like so many episodes have lived and died at this anvil right here in Port Cazard, So I figured let's do it here. Let's finish another mining and smithing grind so we can move on to bigger and better things. First, let's use our Lovakite bar on the anvil and make our Shazian Supply Boots 2. Our level 57 unlock. Nice. And our Mithril Bars, then. Let's make one Mithril Full Helm, which we can't wield, but at least we have that now. And I made some extra bars so we can make more than just five Mithril Knives. Our ranged unlock. Yes. How bloody good. Wield. Oh, look at them. We're ready to go stabbing, baby. Come on. All right. See you in the next episode for some range training and good stuff.